Hi all, I've been really excited to do this video because I wanted to try out the Yeezy hoodie compared to the Gap hoodie compared to Walmart hoodie. Okay, so the whole debate is, is that the Yeezy hoodie is 90 fucking dollars. I mean, what am I, made of money? I mean, here, I can pay you with my pubic hair, Mr. Cashier. But seriously, 90 fucking dollars, it ain't 9.99 like the fucking Walmart hoodie. The Walmart hoodie is like 12 bucks. Okay, and the Gap hoodie is 40% off right now, up to 50% off, which makes it like what? Like from like $40, maybe 20, just a little bit more than the Walmart hoodie. I mean, it's like a tear up, but $90 and no fucking coupon and a long wait and you have to be on a fucking wait list. And everyone's like, but the Yeezy hoodie looks just like the Walmart hoodie. Who the fuck knows, all right? So we're gonna see, and I'm going to measure the thickness of these hoodies because I've heard that it's not so much the, um, the that it's a Yeezy brand, but how thick the hoodie is. Is Yeezy thick? We're gonna see how thick he is. All right, so is this the Yeezy hoodie or is this the Walmart hoodie? No one fucking knows because they look the same. Okay, so this is actually the Walmart hoodie. This is $12.99. We're gonna start cheap. Okay, so I mean, if you clipped off this tag, you put it on eBay and you said, bitch, this is a Yeezy hoodie. You might be able to sell it for something. All right, you know, or you might just get your eBay account banned for counterfeit items. I don't fucking know, but you could try. So this is the Gildian Heavy Blend hoodie. This is a size small and it's made with 50% cotton and 50% polyester in the great and wonderful sunny country of Honduras. <laughs> okay. And, uh, it has a smell to it. When I open it, it kind of smells like a factory, like a cardboard. It has a smell. It's not that nice new clothes. I just got a Cadillac smell. It's kind of, it's, it's plasticky. It smells like plastic. Okay. So I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just fabric. So I'm gonna measure it here. So on the hood, it's 2.1 millimeter thick. And we'll go right here because the best part to keep warm in a hoodie is your butthole. And we're gonna measure its butthole covering area. And well, that's not impressive. It's still about the same. Back to less, 1.7 right there. So it's about, we're going to say, in the average, two millimeters thick. Oh, my God. Smells. I mean, it's like an addictive smell. Like, I'm huffing, and I'm puffing, and I'm getting high Walmart hoodies. Okay? And so, next up, the gap. I mean, the, the smell is profound, and the, and the fabric difference, this is kind of like scratchy. It's kind of like, it's kind of a scratchy feel. Like, if you have, like, some textural issue or sense it, this kind of feels like shit, kind of like a cat scratching pad. It's kind of rough. Okay, it's not soft. And this one, it doesn't have that smell to it. But it does smell new because it's nice and fluffy. And I like this one because it's fluffy and it smells good. And it's from Gap. This is the Gap hoodie right here. The Gap hoodie. And it's got a white string. It's in navy or whatever um, like military green excuse me not navy but the military this is military green size small petite in the women's section and this one is made with who the hell knows okay 23 percent polyester and 77 percent cotton okay so it makes it a little bit better because the other one's like 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So maybe that's why it's because the fabric's cheaper. And this one has more cotton. This one's made in the great country of Vietnam. <laughs> and I won't say anything else because I might get banned after that. Okay, cultural insensitivity joke. Censored. Okay, so the poor people of Vietnam have stitched you together a hoodie for Gap in their factories. While well, they're eating probably cat and dog and other profound meats, you're out eating steak at your steakhouse because you're rich with your Gap hoodie. <laughs> and I love this hoodie. It's a great try on. I like it. It feels good. Yeah. Clothes on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
I don't even like the Walmart hoodie. I don't even want to try it on. I'll try it on for you real quick. I'll try it on. I mean, I did try this one on. This one's nice. I like the string to it. I like the pull clothes string on it. It feels great when you pull it over your head. You can have sex with it on, especially if you're having sex with me. And you can just pull a string so you don't have to see my face or hear my mouth. <laughs> like Kenny of South Park. All right, I'll try it on. It kind of sticks to my body. It's not as nice. The size difference, I'm getting my head stuck in here. I feel like I'm trying to put a condom on over my head. Ka swim, little spermy, swim. <laughs> oh God, I'm choking to death. Okay, this string, not as nice, pull spring. I'm like Kenny. <laughs> okay, <laughs> close on Sunday. You my lemonade, you're the number one. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. Okay, no, we ain't digging this one. I like it though, I mean, the purple's cool. I like the color, yeah. Okay, now, ooh, so I'll pull up my shirt, show you on my nipple. Um, we're gonna try the Yeezy now. It's time for the moment of unveiling. Let's get that sucker. Great, and the powerful Yeezy hoodie. And it comes in this little brown bag. Kind of smell like like a brown bag. <laughs> All right, here it goes. I'm so happy. It's bright red, <laughs> like my hemorrhoids. Okay, and this is an extra small. Dang, it's heavy. The weight. I wish I had a scale, like a gram scale or something. It's like heavier than both of these combined. It really is. You take like maybe one more and stack it on here to kind of like even out the weight. Like if the weight was here, like I'm one of those weight scales and one of those weight scales, it's like this. This one's heavier than that one. Yeezy hoodie, verifiable. I ain't messing with you. And it's the Yeezy hoodie, size extra small, brand new with tags. Let's see what it's made out of. What are you made out of, Mr. Yeezy, that makes you so thick? Yeezy is thick. And I'll measure the thickness there of our gap. All right. Machine wash, coal, blah, 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 blah. What are you made out of? I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. But I'm nervous. That's like it could be like printed right in front of me with like a big old sticker and I can't still even see. Um, wash, coal. Oh, 100% cotton. 100%. So zero polyester, pure cotton. And, and I think that's what the difference here is. It's so thick. And I heard it might be organic cotton. I don't know if it is organic cotton. It might be. I read an article. It might be organic cotton. So you might want to look that up. But it is 100% cotton. And that's what the difference is. is like the Walmart one is like polyester, which is like some sort of like plastic or something because it stinks. And the Gap one, a little bit less polyester, smells better, feels soft. Okay. Now the Gap one. How are we on the other one? Two. We were at 2.2 at max, 1.7 at the lowest. The Gap one, 3.9. 3.9. So almost double in some areas, 3.9. Goodness, we have a little bunch there. I don't want to bunch it up. 1.4 down here. That's like the, that's not the fabric lining. It's got a very thick butthole liner. There we go. Now we got the lining on there. 3.7. 3.7. So it's like, um, what, like double almost um, the uh, Walmart hoodie. Just for a few dollars more, you actually get less plastic or polyester or whatever the hell that is. You get more cotton and it's thicker. And you know what? Us bitches, we like it thicker. Because we're cold. <laughs> All right. And the Yeezy hoodie, which is so thick. I'm going to find a good spot here to measure it. And I'll try to measure it in two areas. Just to confirm. And he is pretty dang thick. Are you serious? Freaking 15.2 millimeters thick. And I kid you not, that's how thick this thing is. It's very thick, very thick. It's just like, like I said, like it's like so heavy. It's like all those combined plus more.
even down here, 14. So, I mean, if we're taking the lowest score of 14, it's like seven of the Walmart hoodies, seven of those like $12 hoodies. So if you quickly add it up and calculate, seven times 12 is $96. This is cheaper than all the Walmart hoodies combined in one hoodie. And it's about that weight and it feels like that too. So actually it's a really good fucking deal. Okay, and it's easy. I mean, what else can be fucking cooler, right? Kim Kardashian, he must keep you warm, or he did because you guys broke up. Yeezy can Kim keep me warm. I love Yeezy. He is seriously one of my favorite musicians. I love his music. He's a genius, and this shows. Yeah. My butthole closed on Sunday. <laughs> no more golden shower lemonade. Chick-fil-A, bitches. This is awesome. I love the easy hoodie and it's warm. I mean, I kid you not, it's warm and I'm freezing. I'm someone who freezes in Florida. This is thick and this is warm. I like it. It doesn't have that like stupid pull string either. I can't pull it over my face and do and hide in it. So I can't hide in it when I'm having sex unless I'm doing this and then you can cover my face and my mouth so you don't have to hear me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Do the big bad wolf. Come like, come review my video and check it out because seriously, this is seven times thicker than that Walmart hoodie and it's way better. It's cooler because it's easy. I buy seven of those things and you end up spending way more fucking money. Yeah, I'm gonna model it for you. I'm gonna break my butt because I'm in high heels. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm modeling. Oh yeah, strip for you in the Yeezy. Strip for you in the Yeezy. Yeah, mmm, mmm. Feels good. Feels fine. <laughs> Chick-fil-A, motherfuckers.